Hello, and welcome to my first look here at Lesara Summit Kingdom, which is a uh, city builder, but you're building on a mountaintop. So let's just go ahead in here, start a new game. And look, isn't that lovely? Like, kind of city you can build there on the, you know, you see the mountainside. It's, it's all angled as you're building on a mountain. Um, and it just has this very cool kind of thing. So, first thing. Teach you move the camera around. All right. There we go. Now that we've done that, we get to continue. Want us to build a marketplace. A marketplace is the central place where we will distribute goods to our people. And also where we will need to deliver goods to. I'm going to put this somewhat central three. I'm going to leave some bird. All right. First thing we need to know is roads. Nothing's connected without a road. So here is the original path in to our place here. We're just going to come up here like so. And boom. There we go. Entry point. We need workers. Workers are like these guys here. Lowlanders. Your most basic kind of worker. We're just gonna put a bunch of lowlander huts right here. We're gonna connect up the road, make it really easy to get to them. All right, now we have citizens. Citizens want things, as they do. And one of the things that they want here is access to religious services. So we're gonna we're gonna give that to them. So I'm just gonna surround the marketplace for good measure. They don't have any cost to um, do anything. So as you see, in true kind of ways that they demand things. So they need needs. So to demand needs, they need some basic kind of stuff. So we're going to start off with egg production. Egg production, really kind of simple production here. You know what? We're going to do like this. So in case we need to put another, we can easily put another above it. And we can just send it right there, right across the road. Now there are eggs there. They're getting eggs. Well, there we go. 32 citizens with eggs. There's also flour or mill that can be done. Now, this is much more of a complicated um, production chain here. So I'm going to start that off there. I'm going to do that there. Do that there. Start making this field. They will send that there. They will send that there. This needs that to go there. But we're missing yaks to transport the goods. So, I am going to come over here and I'm going to put down a yak farm. There we go. Connected. So now, there's a way to get yaks there things are getting delivered we can start upgrading houses and that gets us more people there we go bridges we can instead of having islands you know kind of thing there are bridges so let me go ahead and now There we go. Connect that over there. Now we want to, you know, operate again. Fodder production. We don't have that yet. And we're probably not going to get that in the demo here, but come over here. Back to a few distribution. We're going to come here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? I think I'm just going to pull that out there. Go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, uh, two, three, four, five, then one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. There we go. That's enough to make a block. There we go. That's where I want the market. And there's now a, in addition to those kinds of workers, you can have um, these artisans. And they want slightly different things. I'm just going to make a nice little block of them there. Then I'm going to come here. They want a bath. I don't blame them. A ba Having a bath sounds phenomenal. Um, let me, this here, this here. Okay. This bathhouse. We'll put this bathhouse right there. Please enjoy. In addition to bathhouse, um, they can also have a mandala. They'll like it. They just it won't do as much for them. So we'll put that right there. You know, we'll be somewhat satisfied with it. That's Mandala. There we go. Now they also, they also like eggs. We can come here. This egg facility, and we could, and we could give them some eggs. I think I'll. I'll do that. There we go. And send them the, those eggs. And then if we need more, we can... More houses, like we can build another block there. But anyway, there are some eggs. They're consuming those eggs. But those, again, only give one. They really want... I come into here to food stuff. They want cheese. And for cheese... They need one of these facilities here. And this facility has to be fed by Yak Shack. So that has to send that there to send that there. And now these all can stop, start upgrading. Now I have tons of artisans. Now, instead of just building over, you can build up. So... Like, you could do it there. You could do it... Over here. But I think the probably the easiest way is just... There we go. It's now connected. So... Another thing that we can produce, see, there's honey, but honey is best produced up in this region. Now, we can't just get honey, you know, send honey from there. It's too far. So we'll have to build a warehouse to basically be our honey. And there we go. And then we can create transport routes. Carriers come from artisans, and we can create honey to both. So we can carry honey there and there. Obviously that route's longer, so each carrier can do less, but that's why you need artisans to carry. So we've got enough honey coming here. We don't have enough honey coming here. They want more honey. That's okay. We'll probably need to build another honey producer to make that happen. No matter. There we go. More honey. It's workers. We don't need another route. We just need to make that route 
Oh, is that only doing... There we go. Plenty of honey is now coming to these two areas. Alright, plenty of cheese. There we go. Honey to both marketplaces. We want to start copper production. So, for copper production, we're going to need a mine. And there we go. There's the mine. And we also need a copper tensile maker, but we'll get to that in just a moment. First thing we come here is we come here and we do that. Go. Okay. Tensile maker. And we're missing some yaks. We need more yaks. That's the problem in this game. Lack of yaks. So, we're going to come here. We're going to say we need more yaks. And we'll be able to put another yak farm somewhere. We could even put it up here. Have locally sourced yaks. I'm a fan of locally sourced yaks. So there we go. We've got yaks. But they're going to come here. Do that. Again. Warehouses. Because we have to get these down there. Send them there. And now we're not making enough. I think we're going to need to have more copper to make even more utensils. Because that, all four, is being made into that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up some more of these. And we're going to need even more yaks. See, this is your constant thing. You think you get enough and then suddenly, you know, you need more yaks. Simple yak breeding. There we go. More yaks. I think we're going to need some more of these fine people. Um, but, you know, they also want baths. You can come here and see, they would also like a bath. Um, it doesn't do as much for them, but it does enough. So, we're also going to give them a bath. Don't know what any of those. We're going to do that there. Okay, so everyone's getting baths. They also want cheese. So, again... Everyone has demands. We're all about meeting our people's demands. So, they want, they want out of this yak shack, All right. Let's do that. See, we need more people. Let's see. Destroy that building. We're going to destroy that building. What's the best way to do this? Start creating another neighborhood over here. That's only going to get up to there. Okay. So. Destroy. This is where it gets always to be interesting. We are going to want the bath. Like... Because wherever we put the road,
Alright. Gonna lose some space. So. Unless. This. Enables. Okay. That enables that to hit most all y'all. Not super happy with that. Path. That hits all of you. Perfect. Like so. I think that'll hit all of it. Yes. It's perfectly designed. I don't think I can do it any better. But will enable me to do that, that, that. And do we're gonna do bath is gonna just be we'll just put the bath in there so it'll just be the way it is we're now out of honey up here and we say we need more carriers to get more honey there i'm now running out of these people you see the problem like i need more people down here Now they need more honey. Thankfully, I've got more honey. I've got honey, I've got all the things that they need. I've also got all the things they need, barely. Okay. Houses to level three. All right, we're up here. We did this so we could come back here and we could get more copper. Still gonna do that. We're gonna do that. That right there. This. Going to do that. That's going to do that. Okay. We can either do cheese or textiles. Both of those will hit the need to fulfill. This, we could do grain, but it's not going to help beyond that. So, for here we want textiles. Textiles, again, we need to take from our yak facility there. And, yeah. That's good enough here. So you're going to send that there. You're going to send this to the marketplace. Boom. Still okay. They need even more now to get to level 4. Uh, marketplace 2. Now this place wants additional cheese. See the problem. Okay. That means for cheese, need another yak shack. Which I'm going to put here. Put that there. This is going to send that there. Send that there. Perfect. 
Plenty of cheese. Not making that. There we go. Also not making that now. Okay. Come back here. We come to this thing. I'm going to say, yes, that's a problem. You are going to send that there. You are going to send that all the way there. Okay. Eggs. You need more eggs. We can make you more eggs. Perfect. Honey. You don't have enough honey being made. Not a problem. All we have to do is come here, grab even more honey, and be like, you transport that there. There we go. Plenty of honey. This now has... All it needs to have this massive space. You still need more. Now, we can do this with cheese, and we can do this with textiles. We're gonna need more yaks. Alright. Back up to the top here. This is where we do our main yak. facilities here. And now we come down here. And I'm going to do a yak shack. This Set that there. We're going to do that. Let's see. Also now need to come here and also do some cheese. And cheese into there. That's another thing we can do. We're going to need more of these running down there. And there are some more houses. We want to build up we want to build up to the avalanche thing up there. But we're also short on honey. The so marketplace one. You need more honey. Short and cheese on that. That's fine. Because we're just going to essentially build another yak. Check. Okay. We're going to stop. We're going to send that. Oh yeah, we're going to send that there. Um, I'm not going to send that there, we're going to send that there. We're going to send that there. We're going to send that there. And then, again, one more cheese maker. I think right here. Send that there. There. And then I could even place that there, send some more honey to my first, and put some more there. All right, now I've got plenty of resources coming in 
to, to do all that. The, the, it's apparently there are avalanches that can occur. But the way we do that is we trigger them before they get triggered on us. So we put that there. Voila. Now we want to build this very lovely avalanche inducer. To do that, we're going to need more yaks. So, um, let's see. Where is a good spot to maybe breed some additional yaks? Maybe all the way down here. We'll come. We'll just build that there for now. We have plenty of yaks. Okay. Now we come all the way up here. We are going to build this avalanche inducer. So we can trigger the avalanches before they just come down on us. Um, again, road connections necessary. There we go. Now we can trigger the avalanche. And unfortunately, it came right down onto our city there. But they meant to do that because, you know, they want. In the full game, you'll get to go around the mountain more, you know, to all around all sides. You'll get to build barriers and trees to do avalanche uh, prevention and eventually build a summit temple. So there's kind of this whole thing. It's a very interesting, you know, kind of idea if you played the Anno game with like, instead of different islands, um, it's different, like, plateaus or uh, plains on the mountainside and the different layers, kind of like different regions. Very cool um, in terms of where you're going to do things and obviously different, um, you know, plains and spots on the mountain have access to different resources. Um, I kind of like how it is where you're not worried about building resources um, because it makes it a very free form, change it, figure it out. You know, it's, it's, you know, you puzzle into the space that you have and the space that you have is uh, more interesting. I think this will be um, enjoyable. I hope there's some scenarios with like different things in the full game um, because uh, unfortunately I do think that, you know, once you, you know, there's only going to be so so many levels, so much you're going to do, you're going to get it all done, and it's going to be a very enjoyable city builder. Um, the question is, how much replayability does it have? Um, and and that and that's and that's the big thing, I guess. And that that'll have to you know wait for the full game and kind of see. Um, but at this point, I want to say thank you very much for joining me, and be seeing you.